With 71% of its surface covered with water, our beautiful planet Earth is known as the water planet. And it makes sense that since we've evolved on this planet, the amount purity and structure of the water that we drink has an incredible impact on our health. We are largely comprised of water. We're 61% water by weight, but 99% water by number of molecules. And that almost seems impossible because we have so many different types of molecules, but most of the mo molecules in our body are really large. Our DNA, our proteins, our fatty acids, are all very large molecules and water molecules are so tiny they fill the spaces in between the molecules and even intercalate into the molecules themselves and of course water is you know the mainly what our blood is comprised of so we have water in our bloodstream we have water in our lymphatic fluid and our cerebral spinal fluid is largely comprised of water and then water binds to things. So for example, the, our extracellular matrix, which is one thing in the body that connects every, other, every cell to every other cell, is largely comprised of water. These large molecules have multiple binding sites for water. And this, this creates almost like a kind of liquid crystalline carpet that all of our cells anchor into and the water outside of our cells communicates with water inside of our cells because inside of our cells are largely comprised of water and that also includes inside of our intracellular organelles and we've learned many things that that water does inside the cell so our cells have almost like a scaffolding of microtubules. These are little tiny tubes. And the, the tubes in one cell can actually traverse that cell and go into the neighboring cell. And these tubes are filled with water. And within the microtubules, water acts almost like a superconductor, transferring energy and information from cell to cell. Water in it wraps around our DNA and we're learning actually has a, a lot of effect on what genes are being expressed at any given time and water wraps around our proteins and a lot of our molecules in the body uh, are somewhat quiet and don't do very much when they're kind of wrapped in a ball but they they have to unfurl to have an effect and it turns out water plays a big role with with that and so how is it that water can play such a huge role in our body? Well, for one, it's everywhere. There's almost not a space in the water, in the body where water isn't. But for two, water has some very interesting properties.